But your dogs were licensed, registered? Licensed, registered, and, um, you know, they were barking and going crazy, and these people came onto my property. As you see, I have a fenced-in yard. They can't get out, and nobody's supposed to come in. They came in here, they had maps, they threw them through the window, and my dogs, my dog, my pit bull, grabbed the bounty hunter by the back of the leg. The bounty hunter shot my dog in the back, piercing his abdomen. His intestines were severed. Toxins went into my dog. I immediately came home from work. When I came home, I met the bounty hunters in the street. The police were here at the time. I was livid. I was cursing, swearing at least a good 10 to 15 feet from this gentleman. And he says, you better back up before I shoot you also. He said this in front of the officer that was on call. It ensued into a shouting match back and forth, back and forth. And basically he's provoking me. What are you gonna do? Go ahead and do something. You know, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm attempting to do is do everything the correct way legally. I'm not gonna fight him. I'm not gonna try and have ramifications and go in, you know, and get revenge. I wanna take care of this legally. I want somebody to be held liable. My dog was in surgery for six to seven hours last evening and died this morning from his complications. This is a family member that I lost. My family member died as he was shot right here. This is the glass my son was thrown through, okay? And he got the shit beat out of him by these guys. I understand he had a warrant. I understand the boy had a warrant and he's done some things. I believe it was excessive force that was used and they definitely did not have the right to shoot my dog on the property. 